Welcome to Coconut Beach in the beautiful Koh Rong, everybody. Oh my goodness, I have never been somewhere where the water is as warm as this. Right in there, you go in just like getting into a bath. It's unbelievable, literally unbelievable. We came here, we've actually been in Cambodia for over a week now, but it was an amazingly good place just to come and be like, Whoa, we've done four months now and we've been non-stop every single day doing something here, doing something there, going getting photos, seeing stuff, eating things, changing countries, flying somewhere else, riding somewhere, we've been busy and we kind of earmarked this point as, we, as when we'd be like, wow I kind of need a break now and we happened to actually just pick the right time so we've been in Cambodia we've been a week we've actually got cold so you can probably hear it in my voice that we're a bit poorly having finally down tools and just been like whoa let's just chill so we spent the first week in Chinookville in a little place called Otras Beach it's split into two places Otras Beach 1 Otras Beach 2 we were in Otras Beach 1 very nice place uh, but we came to this little island Koh Rong it's not a little island Co came to Koh Rong which is 45 minutes away from Chinookville. It costs $25 return for, for the fast boat. You can get a cheaper slow boat, but it takes a long time. And for $25 return, it's not really worth going cheaper than that for four hours, I think someone was saying it was gonna take on the boat. We've actually been here for a couple of days again, chilling out and trying to get over these colds, which haven't actually gone. We've had them for a little while now, but it's hard not to be happy when you're in somewhere like this. And we're just chilling, working through it, enjoying ourselves and enjoying the amazing water here. But it's a story of two halves. This place is paradise. I'll just show you that right now from some drone shots and things like that. This place is amazing. and it's a big but. There is a problem. I almost said something about this when we were in Flores in Indonesia. I almost said it on a video, but now I've seen it here as well, I think it's about right for me to say something because there is a massive problem with plastic in the ocean, in paradise places like this. I'm sure it spreads much further and wider than that, but I'm seeing it for real. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that right now. Come on, let's go. The water here is so clear, let me just show you. Like, not only is the color amazing, but you can see right to the bottom, anywhere you go, and you can spend the whole day in it because it's that warm. It is that good. It's hands down the best sea I've ever been in, without a doubt. I've been to the Caribbean, been to Thailand, I've been to the Philippines, which runs it a close second by the way, but 
this sea in Cambodia second to none. I'm sure if I go to the Maldives or somewhere like that in the future then maybe this will fall into second but it's really spectacular right now. Anyway, I haven't had to walk far to prove my point, right? Just on the pier where the boats come in, look, plastic wrapper, plastic water bottle, medicine bottle, plastic bag, plastic bag, sorry crisp packet, not sure what the hell that is but that looks like a piece of formed plastic. It's not ideal. I thought a little exercise I'd do, just to prove the point. Let me get down on the sand, which is nice and beautiful. The exercise I'm going to do is, I'm going to go from here, where I am right now, with you, to over there, where my place is, and I'm going to pick up the plastic that I see. This is just one beach, like, this is just one small beach. It's, what, 200 metres long, if you look that way? It's not that big. So, here we go. We'll start from the pier to make it fair, all right? So, number one, plastic bottle. Not a good start. I'll tell you what, I'll leave and come back and get them later. I'll leave the bits that I pointed out already and we'll go further because the plastic bottle's gonna take up quite a bit of space. So, into the water, here we go. That looks like a bit of a wrapping of a nylon, sorry, polystyrene thing, which is bad. And there's a, that's a sweetie wrapper or something like that. Right here, plastic. I hope this isn't going to bore you, but it's going to make the point quite well, I think. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Alright, that's a bit more serious. That's a, that right there, tinna tuna. A bit ironic, that coming out of the sea. <laughs> it's not the thing that, it's like fish seeing their own coffin. Not ideal. It's just sad and depressing that somewhere so beautiful can be, can be amazing on the outset. I'm definitely gonna not. Uh, straw, don't drop that polystyrene. Plastic bottle, can't even carry. That's it, I'm done. It's only, oh, see, I'm dropping stuff already. I'm gonna stop that point proving exercise right here. I'm gonna go back to the, excuse me, go back to the place which is still all the way over there I'm gonna get my plastic bag and show you what I collected and then just do another beach comb just to show meet the sad bag I found this floating in the ocean when we were out there playing earlier and I just thought right come on objective number one has got to be fill this with plastic and get it out of the ocean so that's what I'm gonna to do today I put that handful of stuff in um, this is what it currently looks like with just that other trawl that I did earlier just in the ocean picking stuff directly out of the ocean there's even a nappy in there, which is frickin' rank. Anyway, let's carry on. Plastic, one step. Plastic lid, more plastic. Plastic spoon, plastic toothbrush. I think you get the point. But look, plastic bags. There was a thing in the press about a whale that died because it had an unbelievable amount of plastic in its belly just from look at this this is insane more and more and more and obviously it's just going to keep on getting washed up so it's not like me picking this up is going to solve the problem at all but as i was saying i think that's another mask this stuff's really bad polystyrene terrible and you can see over there, look, there's three polystyrene takeaway trays. Yeah, anyway, this bag is getting full up. And we are not that far. Let me just show you in a minute. Look, cigarette lids, more toothbrushes. It's like people don't want toothbrushes. What's wrong with them? People need them. Apparently, there are more mobile phones in the world than there are toothbrushes. How is that a thing? I'm not trying to beat the, beat the environmentalists up or beat the people who are causing the problem up, but it's a human problem, we've all got to deal with it. What is this doing? Like, that's a pump from a dispenser of some kind of gel or liquid, without the bottle. I don't know what it's doing on a beach like this. White sand covered in plastic and nylon. And, look. wonder how long that's been in the ocean for. I don't know. 
but the sad thing is that I'm going to do this today. Pick all this up. Yeah, that one's that that one's even got. Look at that. That is quite incredible. That has got barnacles growing on it. Nature's amazing, right? Even in like the craziest of scenarios, a plastic drinks bottle has barnacles growing on it. Bloody hell. Mm. Not sure whether I should throw it back or not, because they're probably living. They're not living a particularly happy life. There's been a lot about these plastic straws. I've seen in Bali there was a bit of a campaign going on. A bit of a campaign going on about plastic straws and not using plastic straws and they use like green bamboo shoots or like stalks with holes in basically. Spoons. Uh, toilet duck for cleaning. Duck, duck Mr. Muscle Pro Bathroom. That is going to do a whole world of good cleaning the ocean up. Yeah, straws. Another one here. Yeah. Yeah, that one this time. Yeah, so anything you can do to make sure you can minimise the use of plastic in the first place, but then if you do use plastic, try and make sure that it goes to the right place to get recycled or disposed of in a way that isn't going to, or is going to minimise the impact on not just places like this, but everywhere. Like, it affects, it doesn't just affect holiday makers and everybody's going to be affected at some point in some, some way if the ocean is polluted or if all the fish die and we haven't got any food or, I don't know, I'm not an expert in these things, but we just need to do something about it. And we all need to do something about it because everybody can do something like this picking this up today but nobody can do everything and i think that's the thing like nobody should feel responsible for the whole entire world because it's a massive problem and no one person can ever resolve that whole issue by themselves right not unless even superman would have a bad time maybe there's a new superhero that needs to be invented look i don't know whether that's to do with plastic or not but that used to be a crab. It still is a crab, but it's dead. And it looks like it's been dead for a while. At least it's not having to look at the, uh, at the coffin anymore. Another straw. These things will never decompose. That thing, that's from Duty Free. They're the things you put around uh, drinks bottles when you buy drinks in Duty Free. I have no idea what the camera angle is looking like on this. I'm just working here rather than blogging. But you can see this bag this bag here let's set it against the blue pink versus blue it's kind of opposite to the color spectrum this bag is getting quite heavy now and that is filled almost obviously it's torn up here but it's filled with plastic and I'd say we're just over halfway from my place to the pier there's a little patch of stuff looks like there was a bit of a storm last night and it's washed up a whole load of th load of things but two things there a bit of rope Dread to think what this is that I'm touching, but whatever. Uh, is that natural or not? I don't know. Pencil, cigarette butt, ugh. let's do it anyway, come on. It's only nature. <coughs> Polystyrene, that is all right. That's a cuttlefish. That's a cuttlefish, or used to be. But all of this stuff, I don't know what that is. That looks like not very good anyway. And that, and that, and that. And that, oh my god, look, all of that over there, that bit of plastic, that one there, that's a spoon of some sort, polystyrene, it's even washing up towards me now, it's like, come on, take me! There we go, more, oh my god, yeah, I'm helping you out, mate, straws, straws, nylon, right, I think that bit's, oh no, there we go, bit of plastic there. Look at that, all of that, just from that tiny little patch. Let's get that in the bag before it does any more damage. Sorry for the awful camera footage, by the way. I'm, I can't do two things at once very well. So if I'm missing stuff out and just talking and you're seeing me armpit or seeing something like that, then I apologise. There you go, Coconut Beach. Little favour done for you. You can breathe clean tonight. And I can sleep, sleep well, so I've done a good deed. But... It's not about me, it's not even about this beach, it's about everything else and all the other beaches where there's 
even more plastic washing up and even more straws and nappies and cigarette butts and all of that stuff so if you go away if you can just pick up one bit every time you go if everybody did that every time they went to the beach the beaches would be cleaner the oceans would be cleaner there'd be less plastic less rubbish in the oceans anyway it'd still be the same amount of rubbish oh man more it's never ending many hands make light work anyway i've probably banged on enough you've probably seen enough of my armpit and enough of this bag that's now full to understand the point i'm trying to make oh i'm knackered now it's time for me to go and probably have a sip of water out of a bloody plastic bottle some things you can't avoid right but you can be responsible with what happens to it afterwards come on guys we can clean the world up it's everybody's responsibility and the governments and the big corporations are all doing their bit too I saw in the uk that there's a conglomerate of big businesses all trying to club together and reduce the amount of single-use plastic which is great fantastic news need more of that well done you lot need the retailers to help, need the governments to help. If everybody does a bit and enables everybody else to make it easy. Hang on, quick straw before we go. Oh. Then it'll be all hands to the pump and we won't have a problem because we can't just keep ignoring it. That's me done. Ooh.